for the first time, you're going to hear from the man accused in the 1979 murder of Cedar Rapids teenager Michelle Martinko. Jerry Burns took the stand in court today as part of a hearing to suppress evidence. KWW reporter Ashley Neighbor has been following this case for us, and right now she's live from Cedar Rapids in our newsroom there with more on today's hearing. Ron and Abby, this was the third and final day of hearings requested by Burns' lawyer. He wants expert testimony thrown out ahead of the, of the trial. He's also calling into question DNA evidence. The judge not yet making her final ruling, but we did get to hear from Burns himself. First to take the stand was an expert in sexual offenders, asked to consult on the case by the state. His testimony links the preferences shown in Burns' internet search history to a possible motive. To include the stabbing of a simulated uh, victim, a model. Um, there appeared to be a, a pattern of searching for blonde models. The defense asking the judge to suppress part of research use, pointing out this was a very unusual case. Next up was CRPD investigator Matthew Denlinger, who's been called to the stand each of the three days. Denlinger pointing out the possible link between Burns' porn preferences to the killing of Martinko. I thought it was extremely probative. We, you know, to that point in the investigation, we were confident that we had established uh, who our perpetrator was, so we figured out the who. Um, but with 39 years, um, limited information, you know, that's a long time that's gone by. We really didn't have a why. Um, so finding this internet search history um, and how specific it was, we found it really probative. Then Burns himself taking to the stand, saying he had no explanation for how his DNA was found at the crime scene. Correct. Yep. I had no explanation. And claiming his request for a lawyer during the initial interview wasn't honored. At that point, did you believe that that uh, investigator Denning was honoring your request to speak with the lawyer? No. Um, I guess I must not have asked properly, and we were never instructed in school how to ask. So. so did you think that he wanted an explanation regardless of whether you wanted to have a lawyer or not? Yeah, they just seemed to ignore that. But the state says that decision to not make a call was up to him. Next, both the defense and the state will submit written, written testimony to the judge explaining why or why not they believe certain pieces of evidence should be allowed into the next month's trial. Now, the judge is expected to make her final ruling sometime next week. Live in the Cedar Rapids newsroom, Ashley Neighbor, News 7, KWWL. Ashley, thank you. And the murder trial is expected to begin next month in Scott County.